people, I've seen a lot of negativity towards the fight. Oh, it'll never happen. And, you know, and then all of a sudden we find a site that we're real comfortable with. Oh yeah, but, but, but. I'm not really focusing on the buts. I'm just focusing on getting this fight done. Everybody's on board. Like I said, people doubted we would achieve the site fee. We achieved that. And now we just have to make sure that all the fighters are happy with, with the contractual position from the site, which is, which is quite straightforward and, and something that we've done before. Can you give us any idea what the, the delays are? Is it legally? Uh, no, no delay, really. Just the fact that it's probably one of the biggest sporting events of the year. Um, you're dealing with two sides. On one side, which is our side, it's very straightforward. It's myself, Matram, and 258 Management, which is, of course, Anthony Joshua and his management company. And on the other side, you know, there's about five different people involved and it's going backwards and forwards to people. And, you know, some people seem to be a bit negative about the whole situation, question whether they actually want the fight. But then I uh, bumped into Tyson Fury in Vegas. He reassured me that he was all in on this fight. So I'm, I'm really confident. And you know, I can't speak from their side, but the calls last night were with their lawyers as well, with Tyson Fury's lawyers, just getting this long form agreement for the site in place to, to move forward. You said it's, it's as done as it can be. It is. I mean, it's never done until the ink is dry, but it's, you know, there, there's no obstacles really to overcome other than just fi finalise the paperwork and get this thing announced. So in terms of other fights, big fights, you're no. on, yeah. in a good position now. Yeah, I, I've, I've not seen a fight fall through at this stage before of, 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 you know, in terms of where we're at. Now, it can happen. Again, I, I represent 50% of this fight. I can't tell you what's going on behind the scenes in their camp. But what I can tell you is, it's the only fight they're looking at. It's the only fight we're looking at. So we're a bit stumped if we don't get it over the line. And, and my, you know, I promised Anthony Joshua we would deliver the undisputed championship for him. So I'm so focused to do that and I won't stop until this is signed. And I've worked non-stop, I've flown all around the world, I've not stopped on the phone for months and months trying to get this done. You know, when we've had negativity from the other side, when we've had doubt from the other side, I've told people, no, I will deliver this, I will get it done. And I won't give up until that is done. So we're on the verge now, but we still have to finish the job. And that's really the plan for this week. What's good, family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So we just heard there from Fast Car, Earn Hearn. Now, this right here was a clapback, a response to the recent allegations made by Frank Bricktop Warren and Bob, 90-year-old Aram, both of whom have been alleging that the fight ain't going to happen. Within the last two days, Fish Eyes came out and said, listen, if, he, if this fight was going to happen, I would have heard from Eddie Hearn in the last week. Bob Aram came out, the fight ain't going to happen, we're going to look to fight with Wilder instead. We haven't heard from Eddie. No, nothing's been done. They're, that's the latest claims from Team Theory. Eddie Hearn obviously heard that and put out the following audio thing with Sky News. And I'm going to break it down what he said more or less word for word and analyse each little section, each little rebuttal. So the first thing that Hearn says is, I'm not going to focus on the butts. There's been a lot of hating dons. You heard what Eddie Hearn said. There's been a lot of hating dons with butts and maybes and whatnots. He ain't going to focus on that. And, that. and that's what we know about Hearn anyway. He gets to it. That said, he also goes on to say, I'm 100% certain our half wants it, but we can only control our actions. Now, I just don't get it because, again, further along in the audio clip, Eddie Hearn says that, boom, yeah, we've been having negotiations with Fury's, with Fury's lawyers and whatnot and getting it locked in. No, you'd think Fury, it could be just a poor communication process and we know the more people involved cooking the cake the more exponentially complicated it gets so it could just be a genuine communication breakdown but i don't know normally lawyers are always keeping keeping the team in the loop that especially high paid lawyers that's what they're paid to do they're paid to make sure everyone's aware of what's going on and it's not like it was a thousand years ago where you had to send man on horseback we've got emails it's something <laughs> it's something called a cc <laughs> and you'd think that any negotiations or, or whatnot between Eddie Hearn and Fury's lawyers, Fish Eyes and Aram would be CC'd in, wouldn't you? So the fact that someone's lying here, either Eddie Hearn's lying and 
fish eyes and Bob Arum are telling the truth that nothing's been done and they haven't heard from Eddie in a week. Or they're lying. And I hate to break it to you, man, but I, if, in my opinion, I just don't see any reason for Eddie Hearn to lie. Now, I'm sure there'll be LDBC goofazoids. I'm, I'm sure Ultra... Ultra nonce tech, he'll be out there saying, Oh, yeah, well, look, Eddie Hearn lying, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn, la, Eddie Hearn. I'm sure they'll be giving it all that one. But really, when you look at the facts, when you look at who's really been trying to make this fight, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn is in a position, yeah, where he don't have nothing to lie about. He's been out here working for five months trying to put the fight on. Lie for what? What, how does lying benefit Eddie Hearn unless he's trying to set a trap? Meaning, Eddie Hearn wants to kind of play up to the fans, yeah, look, we did, we've done it all, and then catch their man lacking, if that makes sense, make them fall on their own sword, that's a possibility, it's a possibility that Eddie Hearn is doing, or it's a possibility Eddie Hearn's coming out and saying, and basically being public about things, so that when it doesn't happen, it's, it's obvious why it didn't happen, because at the moment, all we hear from Eddie is everything's great. So if for whatever reason, and there were a few hints to be fair in this audio that this may be the case, because Eddie Hearn says, well, you know, yeah, I'm 100% sure the fight's going to get done, but then again, I can only control my half, which is a, a contradiction. In a way, it does imply that he ain't sure what the other half want to do. And he even, says as he even says as much in the audio clip again. He says that, boom, their half of things, I'm not even sure if they want it. And he's never actually, Eddie Hearn over the last five months has never actually specifically come out and said, I'm not sure if certain members want it. Today he did that. Today he said, I'm still not sure if certain people even want it. Although I have spoke to Fury, Tyson, and he does want it. But I find that a big contradiction, especially given how cohesive his team have been over the last few months. Fish Eyes, Bob Arum, they haven't moved an inch. They've been exactly on par together. Fury, only until recently, has detached from their negative Nelly stance. Coincidence? I don't know. But Bob Arum talking about the Wilder fight, given that who else do we know talked about a Wilder fight out of nowhere? Bear in mind as well that Wilder, or the Fury, from Fury's point of view, not so long ago, Fury said Wilder ain't never getting a fight. That was his position. So for all of a sudden, him a month ago to say, in fact, he was in the Michelle Joy Phelps interview saying, yeah, you know, the Wilder fight might be happening instead. So to, so to now hear Bob Arum say exactly the same thing, coincidence, that's what they'll tell you. The Fury fans would tell you it's coincidence. Me, it's smelling fishy. But again, there's so many moving. This, this for me is just the goofiest thing ever. Just goofy. It's an embarrassment to the sport. Five months. I mean, and we're five months down the line and it looking like we ain't going to get it. This is why people can't be doing with boxing no more. They're done with it. Tired of it. People just want to see people fight. They ain't interested in everything else. Yes, we'll talk about it, but in the main, I ain't interested. Anyway, let's read some more of the quotes out because I think it's important to be specific on this one. Eddie Hearn says, there is no, obviously them man are saying, Eddie, we haven't heard from Eddie Hearn and rah, rah, rah. Eddie Hearn says, there is no delay. It's just, we're trying to get the biggest fight in the world done. Now that is a possibility. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure it takes five months. I don't care how big the fight is. A fight is genu genuinely or normally just a fight. Yes, it, for example, taking twice as long, that makes sense. It's a big fight. It takes twice as long. Taking five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times as long, it seemed fishy to me. Anyway, he goes on to say that or Eddie Hearn expands his position and says, well, it's not only the biggest fight, also, Fury has five different managers and five different members, which means communication is taking exponentially longer, which is a fair point. And not only does he have to communicate with five different dons, also, Half of them man don't even want to fight. Half of them man are negative. Half of them man aren't bringing nothing to the table. So I do feel for Eddie Hearn here, as such. And it's, I think it's, I do find it truly, if this fight does get done, it will be truly amazing how he's done it. Given that the other team have added nothing. Added nothing, apart from, in fact, they've taken away from it. They've made it harder, if the truth be known. He goes on to say, some people have been negative and I question if they want it. 
that there is worrying. From a fan's point of view, that's worrying. But we've already heard it. We've heard it out of the horse's mouth. Fish Eyes and Bob Arum have said as much. In the last 24 hours, they've said as much. So again, it leaves me in the position where someone's lying. Fish Eyes and Bob Arum saying it's Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn saying it's Fish Eyes and Bob Arum. But the fact we're having to have this... Normally, I've never seen anything like it. Even with the big rivalries, which have been really bad. And I'm sure there's some of you historian dons out there who know, back in the 80s and 90s... Even I can briefly remember... Even I can briefly remember some, but I can't um, remember the names. But there's been fighters in the past who had really bad relationships. Like, almost violent relationships outside the ring, but managed to get it done. Eddie Hernan, yes, they've... Yes, the, yes, Fish Eyes is bitter, but they, they've never had like a, a, a real nasty relationship, but yet they can't seem to get it over the line. Although, Eddie Hearn's come out and said, listen, I've never got to this point in a fight before and not got it done. So that was obviously heartwarming to the fans who want to see this fight. But again, why the contradiction? Eddie Hearn's sitting there telling us, I've never got this far in a fight before and it not been completed. Meanwhile, Fish Eyes and Bob Arum saying, well, there's no chance. I'm pessimistic because how can I not be pessimistic? Look at the situation. Look at what's going on. We haven't heard from him in a week. It just seems good. It's really odd. Really odd. But it may be genuinely is just a miscommunication. I, I seem to think not. Not in, not in 2021. People are miscommunicating in 2021 seems to me there's something else going on here. There's too many moving parts, though. We've got the sky in the zone part of things. Is that at play? Eddie Hearn's purposefully taking his time. We've got the fish eyes and wanting to fight someone else other than AJ. Team Fury, is that their play? So many different bits and bobs going on right now. I'm praying that in the next two weeks, we actually it wraps it up. Um, and before I go, he says, there's no obstacles. And finally, and this was quite a big one for me, but I'll, yeah, this this will be the one I, I end it on. He says, finally, Eddie Hearn says, finally, the good news is, is that AJ versus Fury is the only fight that me and AJ are looking at. Oh, and by the way, it's the only fight that, I know it's the only fight that Fury and Team Fury are looking at, which is the AJ fight. So Eddie Hearn says that as a positive note. Basically, you're not, you're not, imp not even implying. He's just saying that, listen, from what I understand, we're the only fight they're entertaining, so it must happen kind of thing. We're the only fight they're in, they're actually dealing with things. They're going through a process with, so it must be AJ next. But, what do we know? We've got Bob Arum talking about injecting life into Wilder, which is something that Fury himself has even mentioned. Coincidence? Poss possibly. But like, like, what we do know is, AJ over this time, you haven't heard one of a name come out of AJ's mouth over this period. You haven't heard one of a name come out of Eddie Hearn's mouth. And, I, and that's not because they're being tactical. That's just straight up, they want this fight. Meanwhile, we've heard everything under the sun. We've heard of two random fights. We've heard of this, we've heard of that. And now, by the way, the fact that this has gone down to a one, to a one fight deal, that's not a good look either. Because they signed... That 28-day thing was a two-fight deal. Now, all of a sudden, we've lost a fight. <laughs> we've lost a fight, and... Bob Arum's talking about fighting Wilder. He's looking messy. So, Eddie Hearn's taking confidence from the fact that... Oh, well, we know that Fury's team, they only want this fight. Well, do they? Who, who told you that? Because that's, that's not what Bob Arum's saying. He's talking about injecting life into Wilder. Anyway, listen, you heard Eddie Hearn's rebuttal, you can, there's six of one and half a dozen of, of the other at the moment, we're only going to know when it's really locked in unfortunately, I thought for a while there, two weeks ago I thought, we, two weeks ago we had everyone more or less reading off the same hymn sheet, and, and at that point, I was probably 80-90% sure the fight was going to happen. I thought, you know what, fair play, maybe I'm going to have to eat the bullet. But again, today, I'm back to 50-50. It's back to looking messy. We're just going to have to wait this one out until it gets locked in fully. 
I believe.